It's we're good now. I, we're gonna go with it, guys. Little Are you gonna start the music or? It's a little. It's there. It's just love. Bum, bum, bum. Everybody's so judgy so far. I know. Fuck this machine. <laughs> this is gonna be a judgy episode. You're not doing the voice, Abe. I told you to do the voice the entire episode. Yeah, only Yoda. The voice I love you. Okay, I'm good. I've had my fill. Yeah, I had that my was a bad too. decision. <laughs> Let me get my chew quote up. Yeah, get it out. Oh, you're gonna get that quote. <laughs> I'm, I don't. I don't think you're gonna. Rough, so what you're... am I chewing? Oh, oh like it's game. Game. Hey, hey, what's it? What's an ass and mouth? That's, <laughs> that's, a tail that's the next segment <laughs> that we're gonna come up with. Oh. Wow. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to episode number one twenty four of Brett and Tony with Ash and Abe. I'm Abe. I'm Brett. I have an Oscar hair in my nose. Oh. I'm gonna what's, die. What's an Ashlyn nose? I'm Tony. <laughs> I'm Ashlyn. The other new segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully the segments in there. <laughs> We're gonna have so many segments. We are. We're gonna have a whole butt ton. Of we segments. yeah. This is. We don't have time to waste, but we're wasting it. <laughs> uh, you guys ready for get it the fuck out of your system? Are we getting it the fuck out of our systems? <laughs> get it the fuck out, out of your, your system, system right now. Yes. Sorry. What? I think she <laughs> actually got it out of her system. I did a squawk. Uh, Since you asked it as a question, I yeah. couldn't. I wasn't sure how to respond. Do it along with you. Oh. I wasn't sure whether you're going to repeat yourself so we could say it or... Get whether... the fuck out of your system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Let's... Okay. Let's talk that again. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to episode... <laughs> I make it to have a little system. I'm Brett. I'm not... I'm going to have your fucking system. You guys are stupid. Ashton's had her fill of that bit. All right. <laughs> uh, so, I guess I'll go first. Last weekend, guys, I went down to the Capitol with the girls and watched mm. Twister on the big screen. How Ooh, was it? Love it. Uh, awesome, and it got a standing ovation. At Did the it end. really? That yeah, pisses me off. That pisses me the fuck off. Austin. That's the only way audience. to watch Twister is it's... you have to have a standing ovation. Why? Why does that piss you off? Tony was he telling me this Twister. morning that he well he hates that it, that any movie gets a stand uh, gets a clap at the end. Yeah, why? It's just a noise, man. Because they can't appreciate it. <laughs> it, it was just doing clapping the clap. Hmm. Mm. No, the only time a standing ovation ever bugged me was at the end of American Sniper. I, oh, I had that example. Oh I, I told you I was, that. I, told I was you. there for one of those, too. I had that example. I told Brett, like, yeah. American Sniper. I don't remember what show it was. Oh, it was Tosh. I think it was Daniel Tosh. He actually had a segment where he it was he was ruining Oscar movies for you. Yeah. And he went through, like, a list of all of these biopics where yeah. they leave out the important details. Like, that one, apparently he was a, uh abusive husband, drunk abusive husband, okay. and a bunch of other things. And, uh, and he wasn't even the one who shot whoever they were trying to shoot or right. something. And then he also did uh, Unbroken or Unbreakable mm. with uh, mm-hmm. Dude from... Sna- uh, Cook! Cook it's from... Cook. Yeah, huh. from Skins. Yeah. And Skins. apparently he had a whole bunch of other dark things. And it's like they gloss over all the... The dark details for these biopics that everyone's just like, oh, they're such a hero kind of thing. Well, but sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, Twister you're, you're good. in theaters. Twister, it was awesome. I was sad I missed it. Uh, so which which and, which yeah. which uh, where the hand go and leg go? Where the hand and leg go? Like, Is this like a who shot first, Han or Guido? Now I'm just doing a twist or uh, the game joke. Oh jeez, oh. I didn't even think. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I watched that, and then last night I went over to the Capitol with my mom. I took her to uh, John Waters' uh, classic Serial Mom. It's a classic. I've never yeah. seen it, but I've heard oh. things. Uh, I liked the on the. She liked it really. Yeah. <laughs> I was shocked about a, a John Waters movie. I know. I, I, I don't know. I know he's has a reputation for being. It's one of his more tame I've, ones. He's it, got some tame ones out there. Yeah, I would yeah. say this was like his, one of the most mainstream. Okay. Yeah. Well, I saw yeah. on same uh, with hairspray. Yeah. Uh, the Capitol's kind of, Facebook page. They yeah. shared a Aubrey Plaza quote, which I absolutely loved. That she said she that was the first movie she fell in love with because uh, it brings weird into the mainstream Hollywood cinema, and it made her excited yeah. to be an actress, kind of thing. Yeah, I could see, and it. I could see it completely because that's how she is. Yeah, I mean, but. it's uh, very David Lynch. Okay, and K- uh, Kathleen Turner, the serial mom, she looks like in the, throughout the whole movie like she's having a ball. Yeah, making the movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it was nice. a good movie. Yeah, and like I said, my mom really liked it, surprisingly. Uh, and I, uh, me and Rora went to Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Mm. Uh, that's the, the only thing I had to, that's the only thing I had to get out of my system. 
Oh, so well, I stole your do it right now. Yeah. He, he'll do just it. gloss over it. You yeah. get it the fuck out of your system. You saw it twice, yes. you said, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, guys, I loved it. See, that gives me hope. I was You guys said that it's in group, and I was really excited because it's been so long since I've been excited for yeah. a Marvel movie. Yeah. And the I mean, fact it, that you guys loved it so much. Did you cry? I didn't know. I cried twice in this. Did you? Yes. Oh. Yes, and then like it had like one of the best one shot sequences Marvel has ever done. Ooh! When uh, don't sleep till Brooklyn starts to play. Okay. Yeah. Get yeah. excited. It's good. It's okay. <laughs> one of my favorite sequences ever in a Marvel movie. Yeah, they did really good. It was like, this. oh man, I, lo- I love. I You're gonna it, get man. like yeah. amped. Excited. And, and I'm over Marvel. Yeah. But. Oh, me too. But this is like the best movie since like, yeah. probably No Way Home. Damn I still need James to watch Gunn. that. <laughs> what? I still. Need- Damn it, James Gunn. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's on the other side. Well, <laughs> trying to right that ship. Yeah, good Good luck. Good what? luck, man. <laughs> he did great with the last Suicide Squad. Yeah. Oh, my God. That I loved it. phenomenal. That was uh-huh. good. That was the best DC movie in a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Batman, hello. Leave it to James Gunn to revitalize the franchise. I did like the new Batman. Okay, but, the Batman, yeah. never mind. But, you know, and the... Yeah, okay. Yeah. And they're doing a second yeah. Batman. He's filming right now. And See, I'm that's like, the, yeah. That's the thing DC with, is so messed up. with DC yeah. is no matter what movie you make that involves one of those characters, it's in the universe. I know, it's like, it's so oh, weird. yeah, they're part of the universe. <laughs> 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 they're hoping to revitalize that franchise so bad that they yeah. that I mean, include Flash everything. It's going to be coming out here soon. Yeah. Did they get rid of Ezra Miller in that? No, they position? couldn't. I don't know. but uh, he's, he's, movie, uh, right? he's on rehab duty, but they were rehabbing the fuck out of him. Yeah. yeah. They Probably. caught him, and they're like, they're trying to wipe that shit. R- wrangle him wrangle yeah. a little bit. Just yeah. to, so they can release this movie. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, <laughs> just long enough to do this movie and press, yeah. and then get him to probably the fuck out. Right. <laughs> and then cancel. Yeah, cancel him. But Sucks, like, because I've just heard, I, mean, I loved them in uh, like the older stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but he would like. Uh, I think that they needed. They would think about. They couldn't reshoot anything because he's in ninety percent of the movie, mm. yeah. and he played multiple characters, so it was like too far. And they they named Michael Keaton. Yeah, yeah. I just learned that the Batman Part Two will be in theaters on October third, twenty twenty five. Oh, what? Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. they're they're planning that far out in advance. One yeah. twenty-five. I guess we'll do. I guess I know what we're doing for Ashton birthday. Right, but that they're year. also <laughs> doing um, an upcoming HBO Max series, The Penguin, with Colin Farrell, and yeah. it could oh, have okay. Pattinson in it. But a lot of this is probably still. gonna be delayed because of the writer strike. Oh, the writer. There's strike a writer strike going on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Uh huh. Isn't it like every year? No, no it, they no. haven't had this in 2008. Yeah. I feel like I've season three of Lost recently happened. Yeah. It was the last yep. one. Yep. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a long time coming. Yeah. That and what was the, it was season. I think it's all about streaming rights and stuff right now, right? Yeah. Or like writer's rooms. And stuff. Was it also season three or season four of Prison Break? I think season Cause it was three. Because three, three, that was the season that went off the rails. And that like, just what the killed fuck is, Prison Break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost killed Lost because season three was pretty Lost. rough. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, killed, it was. It, it killed it, Heroes. Yeah. It did kill Remember? Heroes. Yeah. yeah. It killed a lot of things. Yeah. Just unfortunate. Yeah, we should treat our writers better. Come on, people. I wonder if it is going to kill any shows now, but I don't feel like there's any show. I don't that, think like, so. I mean, really uh, Stranger Things sh- got delayed. No, of course. Yeah, but that's such a juggernaut that yeah. there's no way. I mean, they it's all written, all but then they were like, "Yeah, we can't do it because we write as we go too." They yeah. survived yeah. COVID. They'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, they'll be fine. When when they that's aged true. like twelve years, <laughs> like they're adults now, yeah, right? but just like a, <laughs> only a year after the last ep- <laughs> last season. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah. We watched Renfield. Awesome. Well, amazing, isn't it? It's so good. So good. Holy I'm shit. I'm the only one that hasn't seen it now. What? It's so good. Jeez, Louise. We bought it. <laughs> Did yeah. you? Well, it was one of those buy rent, rent for 20 yeah. or buy for 25. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah. And that's my problem. As soon as it's renting for six bucks, I'm down. Yeah. Same with Creed right. 3. I check it every fucking week. Yeah, it's hoping it drops. Hoping oh, it drops. Yeah. Creed 3 is so good. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Sorry. But yeah, so we did Renfield. Um, We've also been doing a big, Damn. big watches. We Ooh. are? What are they? Fast and the Furious. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Me too. 
<laughs> what what part are you guys at? We we just finished the sixth one. Oh. Okay, so you're on Tokyo. Have you been oh. to Tokyo yet? Uh, that's the next one. <laughs> oh, don't go are to Tokyo. Are you finally gonna watch yeah. it? And that's what I told her. I was like, if we're watching it, we're watching it from the beginning, and we're watching everything. <laughs> Maybe you'll appreciate it this yeah. watch. I've but seen it. Every though. time I watch the second one, I like it just a little bit more. Yeah, dude, the second one. I've never seen the second one. This is my first time. Yeah, awesome. Loved yeah. it. It has Loved some it. great. We watched it last night. It's yeah. so it's good. Our I watch mean, through. Uh, and she's making me do the the order that you guys are doing. The, the chronological. chronological. Okay, yeah. I yeah. need to salt it before I go see it. Yeah, because yeah. that's like in a week. Yeah, yeah. Is it in a week? This Friday. Yeah, it this comes out this Friday. Friday. This, this, oh wow. Yep. Yeah. Damn. But I yeah. love Gal Gadot, dude. Yeah. But yeah, now after the first, like the first one, they were they were pretty hard set on this is a car movie, and yeah. then they're like. Where do we go from here? The second one, they t- tested the waters just a little bit. Yeah. And then by the uh, fourth and fifth and sixth, they're just like, let's oh, just go oh, for it. Oh, wait. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, one, one, uh, one, uh, we're like, oh, how do you get this? Oh, we call waste for it. But you yeah. skipped the call waste scene. <laughs> <Yeah>. You skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is like so beyond the call waste scene. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, shit. And then the waste walls. Yeah. <laughs> like, you haven't seen that in years. Yeah, you know, like, oh. And it all started because of an article about race, about a real life of race wars. No, it got started for stealing DVD play. What the hell's <laughs> crazy about that? Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. oh, man. We're going to make so much money off the DVD. <laughs> I love Vin Diesel. Oh, me too. Yeah. 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 He's all right. Also, we realized <laughs> that The Rock... They changed his character up a little bit. the The first yeah. time they had the Rock in it, yeah. he was doing the like the he was doing Tommy Lee Jones in the Fugitive. Yeah, he yeah. had a bunch of I really mean, quick w- talking one liners yeah. and like boom, 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 and boom, then, boom, and then, and then a got, lot of him walking to yeah. go do things. Yes, and then he oh. got he got progressively more silly. Yeah, yeah, they 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 slowed his role a little bit and made him a little oh. bit more dramatic. They're like, he you gotta know your wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> know your role and shut your mouth. I think it's crazy that that it's like he's going through a downfall right now. Yeah, I know. He probably like begging What's to the come back. Opinion? He this like is blo- like. Are you gonna talk about the the lawsuit thing? Uh, I'm. I wasn't really planning on talking about anything. Oh, really. Okay. Well, so, not, know, that that whole thing, I just don't get. Which one? There's a lawsuit. There's yeah. a lot. Yeah, about him uh, kidnapping and stuff. I don't know. Why? I guess oh, I don't Jesus. know all the details. Like what? this was back in the day. Like apparently early in his wrestling career, him and some other wrestlers held somebody against their will Whoa. or something. That's what she's claiming. Okay. Oh, well, it's wrestling, too. I mean, there was a lot of things. <laughs> going on, yeah. Like, I mean, you could get, like, the 90s era. Oh, yeah. I mean, they had guns, Ultimate knives. Warrior. Yeah, huh. cocaine. People did, a, like, people yeah. so, shitting I mean, in people's bags. I mean, yeah. it was, you could be canceled for anything in that day. Yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know there was anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Oh, I, I saw it, and I thought it was a clickbait headline, yeah. and I'm like, I got it. So but, I clicked on it, and then, I mean. I listen to wrestling news every day, and I'm not holding anything about that. That's, uh, so that's uh, probably not a big uh, deal. I mean, not. yeah, yeah it him. sounded <laughs> like uh, the, the person that made the, the accusations apparently has been trying to get this filed for years, yeah. but she had to pay, uh, she had a warrant for her arrest for other things, so she had so, to pay that off first so I'm before sure, she could file this so, lawsuit. So I'm sure <laughs> the walk is going to settle. It's, like, it's not even worth it. Take money. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a whole Yeah, I just of... didn't know anything about that. I like The Rock, but only when he's playing the part he's supposed to play. Okay. One of I my don't f- like when like he tries to movie. reach out. I never watched I that. <laughs> one of my favorite roles like of his. Like Jumanji is fucking perfect. <laughs> yeah. No, one of my favorites of his was uh, Pain or Gain. Or Pain oh, yeah, that's oh, good. That was good. We watched that for new genre uh, Yeah, Good Iron Gang, too. I, I never saw that one, one the football good. one. Yeah. yeah. He just needs to stay in his fucking lane. Yeah. And just do there. comedy. Yeah. I'm sure he could nail it if he had the right. Are you watching uh, Hobbs and Shaw? Your... I, I haven't. We haven't discussed that fully. No, we haven't. Oh. Um,. I was kind of leaning towards it, but I guess it just depends. I mean, on what I Ash think to it's do. gonna add. Where would it fall in? I mean, play? I don't know where it would uh, probably be for uh, maybe nine. Okay, but I think it's gonna enhance Jason Statham in it for you. Okay. I love Jason Statham. I mean, it's it's hard to enhance that man. That man's like god tier. But in I my think book. it's gonna make it appreciate it. Okay. Have you not seen it? No. Oh, I have okay. not seen Hobbs and Shaw. No, plus it's gonna make sense. It's a good movie. 
It makes sense how they brought back Han. And the bad, oh, okay. and the bad guy in Hobbs and Shaw is uh, Idris Elba. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. so good. But yeah, it makes sense how they brought him back because of yeah. Hobbs and Shaw. Nice. Hmm. So I watched a bunch of movies like oh. usual. Um, I'll just, just oh go for I, it. I forgot to walk to watch the uh, watch party movie. <laughs> AOTKP. Yeah. Uh, I watched it. Tony uh, was in and out because he was working. <laughs> <laughs> he was. So he just, what, just look down at the phone and see weird things. <laughs> All I saw was so much humping in this movie. Just like, nice. I, I woke, looked down, humping yeah. a box. Look up. Okay, how can I help you? Look down. God damn it, guys. What's he humping now? What is he humping <laughs> now? Why am I, uh, yeah. like, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Box something. It was called the special. The special. It happened yeah. called the fuck box. And uh, it was a watch party with AOTKP, Tech Killer Podcast, uh, and it was a ton of fun watching the movie yeah. with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some movies are just better for oh, a watch absolutely. party. I, I wish I would have shut it off. I'm sure. I'm upset because I cannot. I don't want to watch this movie, but I want to know what what happened at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Guys. Oh no, you're fine. Um. So I uh, finally got to cross off Antichrist off my oh, mindfuck okay. list, Ooh, which man. that one was. That, did, did that make you look at shoes differently? Shoes differently? Like, because he put the shoes on the kid. Mm. You're like, oh, man, I'm so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember that part. Yep. Oh. Um, I, oh, oh, like, uh, oh, what did the owl or that wolf say? Yeah. Um, in that, I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't remember what the wolf said, but I, I just remember that was uh, despair or it was a it was a crazy. Okay, fucking I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna be, but yeah, go. Um, and then I also watched uh, Sinister. Finally, I've never seen that. Which Whoa, that was with, pretty uh, dope. Ethan, Ethan Hawke. Hawk. Yeah, yeah, that is a good. That's movie. a good movie. I like that. That's um, a creepy one. Infinity Pool, which was really good. With oh, uh, I haven't seen it yet. Scarsgard. Yes, Scarsgard. Yeah. Thank you. Um, fast forward, fast forward. And then I really wanted to talk about this one. Fast forward? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Fasting forward through my list. Oh. I'm skipping a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, something in the <laughs> dirt, uh, which is, I always oh. forget their names. Uh, Benson and Moorfield, I believe, or? Uh, Moorhead. I know Benson that name. and Moorhead. What do I know that name from? They do a lot of crazy mindfuck movies, uh, mm-hmm. such as, um... Let's see. The Endless. I don't know if you saw that one. That one's really oh. good. Uh, After Midnight, they produced that. Okay. And actually, that was a good ass one. Di- he helped with direction on that one. That was a great movie. Chaos Wayne's. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> um, but no, anyway, they are. Uh, it's a great freaking movie uh, mm-hmm. that deals with uh, like. Philosophy, psychology, it's just a complete mind fuck about these two guys who or one guy moves into an apartment and weird things start happening. Joe's apartment? They, kind of like that. I've never seen that actually. Um th- so they decide to make a documentary about it. Yeah. And then it just goes off the rails, makes you question reality and huh, fucking, I don't like that. <laughs> fucking crazy movie, highly recommend. What movie I was looking at Chaos Wands. Chaos. Uh, that's Antichrist. That's no, what, what movie are you talking about? Oh, uh, Something in the Dirt. Something in the Dirt. Something yes. Yeah, I've never heard of this. Uh, I don't remember where I came up. Like, it was, I was read it when I was scrolling through. I'm like, oh, Something in the Dirt. I need to check that out. I like those directors. And then I went to Letterbox, and it was already in my watch list. So I don't know how it got there. Uh, Tad watched it already, so maybe he mentioned it somewhere, and that's where oh. I got it. I don't know. But great movie. Watch it. Highly, highly recommend I randomly watched a weird movie by the guy that did the rubber and that movie that you just watched. Oh, yeah. Smoking, smoking Causes, causes coughing. coughing. Uh Because I was looking up to see about, like, renting that or something. He had made, like, a movie a year. Yeah, he makes a lot of movies. Uh, and one of the movies he made that was free to watch, it was on, like, Hulu or something when I was looking up that movie, the one that you, that you liked. Uh, it was, I forget the name of it now, but, uh, two guys, they steal a car so they can do like some kind of a, a thief job with it, you know, like stealing shit. Uh, and, uh, in the trunk is a, like a fly. That's like, it's like, like two or three feet 
tall, like this giant fly. So then, yeah, it's a fucking weird movie, guys. What's it called? I don't remember, but it's by the guy that did The Smoking Causes Coughing. Okay, I will look this into that. This guy has, I watched some trailers for some of his other movies. I've seen a couple of his movies. He does some weird movies you wouldn't even think of. Yeah. So you're talking about Quentin du- Depew? Maybe. Deerskin, Mandibles. Mandibles, there's a giant fly on the cover. Mandibles actually sounds... Yeah, that's it. Mandibles. Mandibles. Yeah. It's from like 2015 or something. 2020, according 20, to Oh, this. shit. He yeah. makes like a, a ton of movies. Yeah, like I said, movie a year. With weird premises like this. <laughs> right, right on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Being flat, I've been wanting to watch. Yeah. Play You're short. I've seen... That's uh, a lot of streaming services have been recommending that to me. Huh. But I've never here. You like weird stuff, it. Abe? Watch yeah, this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Ashlyn got mad at me because I actually. Uh, she says I destroyed our Amazon Prime. Yeah. Oh. Because HBO. all the movies is recommending. Dude, like all the platforms, they're like, "Oh, you might like this, bitch." No, I you won't. Might, like, like this I insane ain't gonna movie. like this ghosty ass children <laughs> movie. Yeah. Nah. That's yeah. why you need to like separate like. Yeah. Ashton and Abe accounts. Oh, but it's so yeah. much work. <laughs> okay. I just want a thing yeah. that shows me my stuff. Just your picks. Yeah, which just is what Tony picks. just said. Yeah, but it's not. <laughs> like, I want the thing, like. I want the I thing wish, that I log I, into to just show I me I wish they stuff. were in, like separate thing, but the same <laughs> Well, thing. now she's going to have to create another one, and she's going to have to start yeah. watching things on it for it to know her interest. Yeah. And she's gonna, yeah you so. already had it, and now you don't. Exactly. Yeah. I already had yeah. it, and then he found these lists. Yeah. Of movie things, and now he's just. Well, then I, I had time to watch movies on my own where I didn't have to bug you with them. Uh, and then I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to watch all these movies. It sounds like, oh, it sound like you just need to take Abe's time away. <laughs> that's, that's the it sounds like, yeah. I need to quit my job. He's gonna, <laughs> you know. I was thinking he's just going to have a lot more chores to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> chores. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't make him do chores. Yeah. Okay. I'm not get, a mean lady. Did we get it the fuck I out think of our we system? Did. I think Mo- so. Movie right. time. Sounds good. Movie time. Uh, today we're talking about Dead and Buried from 1981. The Wasn't 80s. that when you were born? Mm, close. My big brother was close. born then. I was born uh, in 78. Darren was born in 80. Yeah. I'm a little bit older than Darren. Yeah. 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 Um, there was no budget info, by the way, that I could find on this. Oh, really? I yeah. had it. Nuh-uh. I did have it Well, at I one found point. the box office. Because uh, that was part of the reason I chose it was based on budget. Because I'm trying to oh, keep it. pull it up then. I'm trying to keep it under a million numbers. for oh, each movie. I'm I, over I that, saw but. a trivia thing, too. I'm gonna, I could spoil something any time. <laughs> I'll just hold that out, though. <laughs> Um, all right, so this movie stars James Farentino, Melody Anderson, Jack Albertson, and... Grandpa Joe? Robert England, yep. guys. Yeah. Oh. Young as fuck. Who's yeah. That? Young. Uh, uh, Freddy. 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 Oh. Yeah. yeah. I gotcha. thought you were going to... Not Freddy in the movie, but Freddy... Yeah. Yeah, right. Freddy Krueger. I thought you were going to go with Grandpa Joe. Oh, who's Grandpa Joe? Who's Grandpa Joe? And Willy Wonka. Oh, my gosh, that was Grandpa Joe. Oh, oh. the old guy. Being was... town time. Yeah, really? that was Grandpa Joe. Wow. Really? The bad, the, the bad guy in this. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, Dobbs. Yeah. Dobbs. Well, one of yep. my favorite fucking characters in this movie. Yeah, he looks good. Oh, my God. But every time I saw him, I'm like, Grandpa Joe, why? See that, that, why are you uh, doing this? That's crazy. But it did. Re- it reminded me of uh, the old guy in Grumpy Old Men and the yeah. Grumpier Old Men. Yeah, he does. Yeah, Jack Lemmon's dad in that. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Or what's the guy, George George Burns? Isn't that the guy's yeah, name? Yeah. yeah. And he was an old guy. Yeah. He would, the old, he would take legitimately to the old guy until he died. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So, yeah. Uh, it This movie was written by Ronald Shusett and Dan O'Bannon, kind of. According to this site, it says the budget was $3 million. Whoa. Yeah. Really? Okay. Okay. So, you went over your budget. Oh, oh I went over with. Uh, oh. He's just uh, trying. What's, you were just there. trying. Yeah. What was the last Not movie I picked? Hard. I forgot the name of it. Uh, the musical. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Repo. Repo. Repo was over. Repo, Repo was right around $3 million as well. Yeah. So so the $3 million kid Abe. Yeah. Trying to keep it low, just as low as possible. $3 million or less. Um, 
So this began like with tits. This begins with yes, yeah. And I love movies that do this. <laughs> with tits that just show the tits right off the bat. Yeah. No, you got uh, to draw people in. No, I love movies that make you feel like you watched. You're watching the wrong movie. Yeah. Like they f- start you off with that really false sense of security, like and then out shit. of nowhere, yeah. it just turns, and you're like, and, "What the fuck?" And then yeah. I'm like, "Um, what did Abe make me watch this week?" Yeah, yeah. It's like it starts off with this dude really badly flirting with this girl. Yeah, he's a photographer on vacation. Yep, with the weirdest camera lens ever. Yeah, that had <laughs> like a swirly around the outside, except for like the very center. It's like the what the hell is the center? What's of the, the point of that? Point? Yeah, yeah. He was really bad at flirting. Yeah. yeah, she was like, that's a really what's nice her, camera. It, what's was her name? Wor- it what's, was working for What's her name, Lisa? I thought it was an actual couple because I thought it was a thing that they did. Like, uh, oh, Lisa. You thought they were just doing some bad, like, role play? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking. No, nope. <laughs> nope, it was just bad. And, Brett, the only reason the flirting worked is because she wanted to fucking kill him. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's the that's only true. reason. <laughs> that's a nice camera. Ooh, um, want me to take your picture? Yeah, so she want does me a, bust my tits out. She does a little modeling, yeah, and then she starts doing a little risque modeling. Yeah, for the photographer. On Did the you beach. like how he first caught uh, what his, how she first caught his attention? Cool, Did, was it? The the feet. Yeah, the feet. <laughs> he's taking a picture of some rope, and then her feet are in the background. Actually, he's like, oh, let me change the focus here. I say I did think of it. I was like, oh, I'll probably forget about the joke. Uh, uh, so yeah, she does a little modeling for him, and then uh, she uh, asks him to to b- go to Bone Town. Yeah, yeah. hey, what right the Bone right Town? Now. Yeah, right there on the beach. And this uh, is nineteen eighties whole film Bone Town, so you know he's dead. You know he's about to die. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, and then he does, and then, and then uh, basically everyone a whole, shows a whole up. Whole town shows up. <laughs> everyone out of to nowhere. Burn I love this it. guy alive. Which that was actually. <laughs> If, done for real life. Yes. Uh, if they the documentary. would have made the net just a smidge tighter. Because, like, you know, the 80s horror, it's hard yeah. to actually, conv- in my head, with with today's lenses, to actually be creeped out and to feel uneasy about a death. Okay. But if they had that net just a smidge tighter, that death would have been absolutely horrifying. Yeah. It, was, it was gnarly already, but if it was just a little bit more, oh, I can't get out of this net, yeah. that would be terrifying. Just to be trapped there, get a claustrophobia, and B, you're on fucking fire. Yeah. Ooh. I think it was tight enough. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you could the willies. You could have got out of that. Yeah. Yeah, but but still, no. Yeah. yeah. Creepy. Creepy. So yeah, they burn him. They don't even burn him like all the way though. They don't even like kill him. Kill you him. You think he's dead? <laughs> yeah. No, and but he yeah. wishes he was dead. Yeah. Yeah. But they let him like live to barely. Yeah. Just, just make him suffer. Just to be oh. dicks, apparently. Um. So yeah, that happens. Uh, also, uh, I like the name of the town, Potter's Bluff. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was Bluff, pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You think yeah. Brittany would like that? Yeah. Probably. She used yeah. to be a Potter. Yeah. Yeah. She got married. Yeah, and she now she's a bluffing. Yeah. Now she's just bluffing her way through life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, and then after this, uh, so he goes to the hospital. Also, later on. Uh, he does die, and I like his, his oh. death because he just gets stabbed by a syringe in the eye. In the eye, in his, I hate in that his, part. In his only oh. only part that's not burnt. Yeah, <laughs> it's just this one little lone eye. I mean, so technically that's the only plate they had to, you know, they'll be nice. That's the only that's option. True. Yeah. Because have you ever yeah. been poked with, you know, after you, after you born yourself? That that things. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so uh, here, guys, we meet uh, Sheriff Dan Gillis. I like him. Yeah. He reminds me of Columbo a lot. Yeah. 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 I can see that. Uh, not as good as a detective as no. Columbo, well, he but a terrible detective. he looked like him. <laughs> no, things just happen for him. He tries yeah. the detective work. Yeah. I That always happens in, like, mystery movies. Everything falls in his lap. Yeah. Everything falls in your lap. And not to go off on a tangent. I'll go on a tangent. We got plenty of time. But have you guys ever watched the murder mystery movies uh, on? Uh, it's got Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Yep. Nope. I watched the first one, and the second Love one them. just came out. Do you? You I haven't watched the second the one yet. The first one, bro. Because here's my thing about those murder mystery movies. So at least the first one, the one that I watched, they there's no mystery in there. Everything just happens to the characters. Yeah. They love those characters, like Adam Sandler and Jen, and Jen Aniston. They love like mysteries and, and detective stuff and stuff right. like that but then things they don't even do they're not detecting trying to, they're the not movie. solving anything it's yeah. just 
things you're just along keep for the happening. ride. Yeah, yeah. To, yeah. And, and uh, I get you. Yeah. So the and, like, it was and this happened, and this happened, and <laughs> this yeah. happened. I like yeah. that about him because I feel like they're a little too. Dumb. I mean, he can't make he can't make yeah. sergeant or whatever. Like he can't make detective. They're a little too dumb to actually be able. Yeah. To like solve the crime, and I think that that. That's why I like it because it's like they want to be murder mystery, but yeah, they kind of like, can't. But I, I don't like it. And I, this movie, is, I feel like it was kind of the same with that character that I did like also uh, in this movie, the sheriff. But like, I want the character in the in the detective. Like, I want the detective character Detecting. to yeah to matter to the plot. If you take out the main character, yeah. right, everything just would still play Happen. out just as it did. Yeah, and his position wouldn't really matter if, if yeah. he's not detecting or doing his job then just make him somebody else he doesn't yeah. have to be he the, doesn't have to be that character yeah. i can see that right no, agreed yeah i can agree with that so anyways this movie uh doesn't do that uh so it doesn't do a lot <laughs> yeah that's true um so yeah i do like the sheriff character but even more so i like that uh coroner and mortician yep. Dobbs that we talked about. His I music just love that taste. Guy. I loved whenever he would play music. Dobbs, oh. Dobbs is the Grandpa Joe, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Because yep. I wanted yep. more of Dobbs. I yep. wanted his. I wanted this to be his movie. It should have been his movie. Yeah, agree. Yeah. Like every time he was on screen, I'm like, I want to know more about this guy. Spoiler alert! Although I think we already spoiled it. Uh, he is the bad guy. Yeah, yes. I mean, I didn't have a full <laughs> yeah. thing. I'm like, Grandpa yeah, Joe, yeah, the bad yeah. guy. Yeah. <laughs> but they should have. I agree with you, though. They should have just followed his character. Uh, instead of the sheriff that doesn't have anything to do with the plot. No, but yeah, yeah. He, Dobbs had a much more interesting story. story. I feel on. like yeah. I feel like this one was trying to cash in though, also on the uh, the the jalo ness. Like they had they didn't really have red herrings because it turns out everyone is guilty. Yeah, yeah. but <laughs> like they had like they were setting up like little like red herrings throughout the whole thing of like, oh, is it going to be this person or are they innocent? Oh, and then it's it's everybody. Uh, Yeah, exactly. Which is a cool twist. It is. It is. But I I think that's, they were going, they wanted the mystery portion of it. I agree. The other aspect would have been a cooler angle. Yeah. But, yeah. A better movie. Yeah. 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 But you know what? Who knows? (laughs) It's very true. Who knows? That's very true. Um, So, yeah. uh, Then uh, we also meet, guys, the sheriff, school teacher, wife or girlfriend. Which one is it? Uh, Fuck buddy. Is it wife? I think so. Okay. And it's Janet. Uh, Damn it, Janet. She's a weirdo. Yeah. So weird. She smiles too much, and I hate it. Yeah, I hate smiling. I hate smiling that much. (laughs) All she does is smile. That's what she was programmed to do. That was a casual trait. Her husband at one point's like, what's with all these witch books that you have? And she's like, nothing, honey. Smile, smile. <laughs> but then like, I would have been nice if her kill to arc was yeah. like, oh, what if she like, just did not smile at one point? Yeah. At one point? It had, mm, like, she loses her, like She loses her smile. Yeah. yeah. Through yeah. this whole story. Uh, yeah. I mean, she kind of does when she's begging to be yeah. buried. Buried, yeah. Yeah. I feel like her arc came out of nowhere, though. It was like just at the very end, like, like boom. Yeah, they probably cut some stuff out. Yeah, yeah. They were like, we need to give somebody some kind of an arc in this. Yeah, movie. Right. Um, yeah. let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go with her. Let's it. go hold smiley face. <laughs> yeah, she smiled a lot. Let's make her not let's smile. Let's smile. Alt. She's been alt. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we made a movie. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah, we meet all these people, and then uh, we get a we get a little side story with a family. It's a husband, wife, and a son. They are lost, and they stop by a diner in Potter's Bluff. See, she annoyed the shit out of me. I the wife s- did. Yes. Oh my yeah. god, she oh, wouldn't yeah. stop screaming. She would. Well, that, that and she uh, had. Oh, uh, I feel like her the well, director. That was, that was he, all. She had to stop yeah. screaming. Yeah. yeah. Her the director <laughs> didn't have anything written for her lines. He's like, just mention lights, mention a comp like a cold compress, and ask for help <laughs> all the time. And she's always talking about that goddamn about the cold light, compressor. the cold compress, Jeez. or getting help. And it was, oh my <laughs> fucking god, I wish you would just get the fuck out. Which which sucks because and that's after they you know they ask for the directions and then they get yeah. bad directions yeah. and they end up in this like out of nowhere they end up in that house. Yeah. Which, because if you ever a, knock on a house, and this wouldn't exist in today's day and age, if you knock on the door and it opens, yeah. don't go in. Nope. No. Never. No. Never. No. Ever. Ever. You just I, leave. Unless you smell freshly baked cookies, and I'm going in. 
No. <laughs> That's even uh, worse. Also, this house that they randomly come up across, it doesn't even have power. No. So the guy... That's the, the other thing. He tries turning lights on. It's like, dude, well, this and, isn't your house. Stop and, playing with stuff. And then also the dad was like, hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Where did this take place? Well, what state? Potter's Bluff. It was Potter's supposed Bluff, to be... Well, what state? It's supposed Ar- to be north, probably Arkansas. northwest yeah. or northeastern, oh, so, so like it, Maine area. If it, okay, gosh, if it was fucking Alabama, I would have been upset. Uh, you got me again, Abe. <laughs> I did. He only picks Alabama movies. <laughs> yeah, that's a new thing. Yeah. Just to piss me off. <laughs> whip, whip, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deer Hunters next. Is that a... Yeah. And then followed by Forrest Gump. Oh, oh I love Forrest Gump so much. Oh. Alabama. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, where are we in the movie? I, I don't the know. Tourists, the tourists are at the house. The, oh, the house. I yeah. love that scene though. Guys, oh no, yeah. Because yeah, even though she's being annoying, I can't hear my headphones. Even though, okay, there we go. Even though she's being annoying, <laughs> uh, leave that she, in. She uh, it keeps doing it. God damn you it! You got a short. Ah, uh, yeah. Move me around. Move me around in the headphones. <laughs> move my headphones a little bit. <laughs> are you good? Uh, I might be. Who who knows? Uh. All right, so where was I? <laughs> uh, tourists in the house. You love this scene. Tourists in the house, yeah. Even though she's being annoying and everything, while they're walking through the house, you just keep seeing, like, townspeople. You see shadows yeah. of, of people, like, in the back. And then at one point, she, like, turns around, and the shadow, like, is stopped, but it's still, like, in a place like a tree could right. be, like a tree yeah. shadow. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, no, they did a lot of cool camera things in this scene that I liked. And yep. I really liked the, the shot of... The silhouettes coming down the street. Yeah. That was so cool. I love that one a lot. Yeah. Is it working? You good? Uh, Is that any better? I can hear it. Okay. 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 I'll try to do that. I don't know. Can I hear it? Can you hear it? Uh, You tell me. Yeah, I can hear it. I was just trying to be smooth. and Okay. (laughs) And then I draw attention to it. Yeah, you're like, okay, I'm going to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they uh, the family gets chased through the house, uh, that of nowhere house, and then uh, but they make it out, yeah, um, and they make it to their car, uh, only to find out later that they went off a cliff D- in the fog. I wish they would have said well, for sure that they were dead and that they were now zombies, ghouls, whatever the fuck. What are these things? What they're zombies, right? See, that's what they With alluded to. Faces. They never came out and said zombies. I don't like calling them zombies. Okay. I don't because think it was zombies. They are not, con- but they dis- they laid the groundwork are, for them to be zombies. Because well, she's like are, voodoo. These are like the old school zombies before like Romero zombies, right? You know, like the the voodoo thing where they blow the yeah. dust and like they're they're. I, which I think is I think it's a cool like throwback. It to is. old zombie. Like, it is. Yeah. 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 I just don't. Uh, I like conventional zombies but they're so are we calling them zombies for sure i think because there was some zombie orig- death I okay i mean if it's a zombies. zombie movie i'm or taking just, it down the stall or just voodoo zombies because i was going to call voodoo them zombies are different than oh we'll call them that's true voodoo, voodoo zombies because voodoo. Voodoo. Yeah. Right. really like what there's voodoo zombies and then there's uh there's like, um, like the flesh-eating zombies yeah which well which would be like meteorite yeah. zombies right like something from outer space kind of yeah. thing i don't know about those or like Resident Evil style where it's a uh, airborne. Airborne. Yeah, right. we're, medically we're, conceived. Yeah, like a yeah. medically man-made kind of thing. But then you also Resident have Evil. the afterlife zombies. Like Romero, his was, they came back from the dead. Like they were literally, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will yeah. walk the earth. The, the, the apocalyptic <laughs> zombies. Or apocalyptic zombies. Yeah, we'll that's what I'd that. call those. Okay. Hmm. Man, we're getting deep into zombies. You guys make me want to watch zombies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, now I have to go back and change all my zombie deaths, except for zombie super soldiers, because we came up with that title. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank you, so Uncle Henry. <laughs> the Uncle Henry Wall. <laughs> it all comes back to that. All yep, right. Abe fucked up. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, he he would have won, though, damn it. I know. That's true. Uh, he probably was so smart without doing his research. Yeah. <laughs> I don't research. I just pick movies. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, here uh, oh, we also guys we've got uh, Janet, the wife or girlfriend. Uh, she's acting, she's acting shady, and uh, the sheriff boyfriend is is way suspicious of it. Way suspicious. She's doing things like, well, like the sheriff. There's some missing bullets uh, in his nightstand, and uh, and then she throws it at him and like 
when when he's like accusing her of of the bullets being yep. missing. Yeah, yeah, he's becoming paranoid. And then he also finds the the witch the books. witch book <laughs> with the, a dagger in the bedside yeah. table. <laughs> that's a that's so many red flags. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then also there's uh, some rumors about that he's hearing, uh, and some things aren't adding up mm-hmm. for some of her whereabouts. Um, but she just keeps smiling. Uh, so Dobbs needs to check his uh, voodoo zombies yeah. because she is just blabbing, blabbing the whole pl- town to the whole school about yeah. what their master plan is. That's true. She, she just does gives a lecture. On the secret. That yeah. He, that he won't even tell the the sheriff about at the end. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He never <laughs> says the words. Yeah, he tiptoes true. around it, but she's detailing like that's step true. by step. You got to take the heart out. Yeah. You got to keep the heart and then they become your slave. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, it's a, a whole process. Yeah. And yeah. to the wrong people. And I don't not fully understand how it did it. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, they, they yeah. didn't even understand how it fully did it. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they, I was they, so they tr- confused, but I didn't think too much about it. Yeah. I don't think you had. That's the key. Don't think too much about it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. For a lot of movies. Um, So, yeah, uh, she also has a reel of film that she wants uh, the sheriff to drop off to get developed. Really badly. Yeah. Really. It's very important. Very. And she keeps calling it a student film. Students didn't shoot that film. No. There's no way. Um, Also, uh, the guys here, the photographer guy from the beginning, uh, he looks an awful lot like this new guy in town, Freddie, that's that's pumping gas at the gas station yeah he does yeah yep and uh the sheriff tries to tries to trip up his girlfriend the school teacher chick uh in a lie uh but it doesn't work out i love when he uh does the drive-by taking a picture he just, yeah. yeah click 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 Stops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh so yeah the sheriff man he thinks he's going crazy uh more people keep dying and just nothing's making sense Bodies nope. are disappearing from the morgue. Yep, bodies are disappearing and everything. That tourist, that was cool. Um, and at one point, uh, the sheriff, he's driving, and he hits somebody with a car. Yep. Mm. And when he goes to check on them, uh, their arm has come off, and it's in the, whatever, the radiator? The yeah. Grill yeah. Thing. It, like, it's sallied from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. It kind of... What do you mean? Her arm comes off. Yeah, it looks, looks like, like it. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so cool. <laughs> gotcha. You should check out that movie, Abe. It's I've good. seen it. But that's <laughs> no, that's yeah. a bit of a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, so yeah, he it's uh, 120 very 127 hours. So he's looking at this. He's looking. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't make that joke. It's, it's that's bar- your style. It's barely army of darkness. Oh. Did I watch that? Are we having an arm off right now? Arm off. I think so, guys. Literally. <laughs> you might win that one just because an arm off, arm off. Yeah. Army of Darkness. <laughs> arm is in the title, so that's a double win in my yeah, book. So yeah. you, you win this battle. From, from an arm. True. From, from an, an arm. arm. Damn. All right, you win. You can't, you can't argue. You can't it. fight it, man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, while the arm is on the grill, it's like moving and shit. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. was really cool. Uh, and uh, the sheriff guy's like, what the fuck? And then all of a sudden, uh, the person that comes back and hit, grabs it. <laughs> yeah, c- grabs it and then knocks him the fuck out and runs off. Uh, uh, here, though, uh, guys, uh, the sheriff also, he's uh, he sees some like skin tissue from the grill from the sun. Yeah. So uh, he thinks, hey, maybe if I get a little of this have it analyzed i'll know who i'm dealing with absolutely uh turns out that tissue sample was from somebody that died at least four months ago what dum 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 he just hit that person yeah yeah no way yeah he didn't have to do any anything not a thing <laughs> literally <laughs> he well, i guess he did collect yeah. the sample and then he's like hey do my work for me and then do yeah. my work for me please. he does not yeah. need to like look at the like Microscope, yeah. that scene. Yep. Anything. Which I'm really shocked that the doc wasn't in on all of this a lot sooner. Yeah. Yeah. You'd that think was out a of everybody. Bad doctor. <laughs> and anybody that was coming up, I was like, oh, why? Why would you? Why would this guy? What? Well, I, I mean, I. You know, he doesn't know what we know as the audience. But right. Like everybody you go talk to could just be one of them. Like yeah. the person you're taking the film to, and the person that you know. Ah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Ugh. I like. So, yeah. Oh, no, go ahead. I don't know. Mine's later on down the line. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got man too. Okay. Uh, well, uh, Dobbs comes by to report someone that stole a body from the morgue. Uh, but he's actually suspicious. So uh, the sheriff sends a telefax to the big city. 
to the big what city. What is a telefax? It like is a it telegram? like a live fax? It, it looked like a very long process. Yeah, yeah. it really did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. I think it's just a fax, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it seemed like it happened instantaneous. Like, she typed it out and it went direct. Like, so, like, an instant message, like, basically. Yeah, an so. old school instant yeah. message. Okay, yeah. that makes sense to my brain. ASL. Yep. yep. Yeah. Before that was a thing. Yep. And readily available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. This is pioneer days. This is the pioneer days. And this guy probably invented it just for Telefax didn't exist until he put it in this movie. That's yeah. And then the the makers of just the fax machine were like, that's a good idea. Yep. And then they when probably they got this. call fax. I mean, cat fat, cat catfished. Yeah. Yeah. Cat faxed. And, and car fax came into play after that too. Yep. Yep. And then, uh, uh, Kronos happened. And then Kronos happened. I was, yeah. I was trying to figure out. That was the movie that ties to all movies, right? Yep. No, that's... God, what was that? That's from like the 60s, right? Or the 50s. Oh, that's right. Uh, that sci-fi movie. Interview that in, or, uh, Planet of the Planet of the Vampires. Planet of the Vampires. <laughs> this one, yeah, this, and then that movie came out. <laughs> actually, yeah. Actually, this one inspired all the movies ever made. Yeah. Yeah. This is just like I that. was trying to tie it back to that, but I couldn't remember the name of the movie. <laughs> nobody died because nobody... It sucked. All right. Moving on for Ashlyn. <laughs> Well, yeah, uh, we got like, yeah, we. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Dobbs is acting suspicious. So uh, the sheriff sends the telefax to check check his background, and uh, turns out Dobbs was fired in Rhode Island. Oh my God! For what? For doing experiments on <gasps> the dead? No, no. I what? like how they they phrased it unauthorized, unauthorized. use of dead bodies. <laughs> like what? Like, isn't, what? Isn't every I mean use besides burying it unauthorized? I mean, yeah. what, what did could <laughs> what did he get authorized? <laughs> yes. What would you get authorized? I don't know. Yeah. So uh, yeah, he uh, so yeah he oh, also uh, he has to pick up the uh, the film because he's suspicious. Of yeah. the, the student film already, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and uh, he picks that up and gives that a watch, and uh, oh man, his wife is Was on there, really cool, with a lot of the town, stab, having dirty, have, having dirty sex, and yeah, uh, and I then, mean, and then he, stabbing the guy. I mean, he Ooh. had some STD. Let's be honest. Yeah, Ooh. and yep. then they then they showed the footage of all the other t- tourists dying. Yeah, they showed the footage oh, of the man. guy getting burned. Yep. The awesome sailor that we we glossed uh, over yeah. a little bit because he was yeah, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. but yep. Uh, this oh, film, yeah, the sailor. <laughs> have we passed this part where the, the really creepy guy in the truck? Oh, yeah, the tourist. Cause, uh, the, the tourist girl that gets picked yeah, up. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, the hitchhiker girl. The hitchhiker girl. I'm like, do not get in the truck. This is a bad idea. Chance. Especially if he if he completely comes out and says, how do you know I'm not a dirty old man? Yeah. You don't yeah. get in that truck. He's no. a dirty He's got old man. some weird lines there. Yeah, yes. they're like, yes. oh, my God, he do not go in. The, and Uh-oh. then she did. I'm like, what a uh, nice chance, man. That was that was the eighties. She took a bad chance. Yep, yep. Because I'm assuming she is. Uh... She was. She, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Yep, yep. yeah. They had the they had the cool scene with her. Remember the uh, on the autopsy table where they. Oh, that was her. Yeah. Yeah. Like they reconstructed her. Yeah, that was a cool ass scene. That was really cool. Uh huh. It was, it was really like gross. behind the scenes uh, makeup yeah. tutorial yeah. or something. It was really <laughs> gross when they used the little tool to open her eyelid. Uh, yeah. I don't like that. Ugh. And then pop a new one in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was Ugh. cool. Uh, so yeah, the man, the sheriff guy, uh, he has got to confront Dobbs, uh, and yeah. he goes and uh, Dobbs spills the beans. He uh, has been bringing back the dead uh, because he's an artist. Uh, with yeah, dead Dobbs, bodies. this was his sin. Yeah, he crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he, lo- I mean, he's an artist and uh, he uses the zombies to murder people so that he can perform his art, which yeah. is making yeah. people look better than they did when they were alive. Yeah, but yeah, it was like a really like passionate. Oh, yeah. He knocked it out of the park, this whole guy did. Yeah. So why does, why do they have to be alive at the end of it? Uh, because to make them, there is a line towards the beginning of the movie. Well, uh, that, uh, they have to be really like, they have to be alive and really scared. Like, like when they die, they have to be really scared. Okay. Uh, so that's why they like traumatize people before they kill them. Oh, was oh, that? I missed but that. But before he Did got you? to Dobbs, the sheriff made the grave diggle. Like we dig up the grave, and he oh. can't even help. He like dig it up. Yeah, he right could have so here. helped. <laughs> yeah, such a dick. And then yeah. they find the halt, and they'll yeah, they yeah. find the heart. And like the grave digger should know that there's nobody in there. How long have they been doing this? Or he should not care. 
I don't oh, think he, he's caring. Yeah, either he didn't care or he, he is. He could be one of them, right? He could be. A he zombie. could be. Yeah, because the zombies aren't that smart. Because that he was sense. also doing uh, when the he sh- the sheriff showed up to make him dig up the grave. Yeah. He was playing with weeds. That yeah. was really weird. Like he oh. he was like hovering over this weed and he was rubbing it and then he pulled it out and he was staring at it dramatically and then the sheriff comes up and he's like, "Hey man, dig up this grave." See, it could be that or they could just be the actor on the day of was like, "Hey, you know, be a good idea." <laughs> I've just played with these weeds right here. I well, that'd be really well, ominous. <laughs> I mean, we got to get to an hour and a half somehow. Do yeah, it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. These 80s movies, you don't know. It's very true. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he, uh, Dobbs confesses everything and, and, uh, he is, uh, just spilling, spilling everything and, uh, acting his ass off. The, the old guy is, yeah. um, and, uh, Go Grandpa Joe. even, even, uh, Janet is one of them. That's why she's been acting so weird. No. Yeah. Oh man, I did not see that coming. Mm-hmm. And, uh, she comes into the scene and then uh sheriff boyfriend shoots her and shoots Dobbs, both of them. Uh, and then Janet runs off uh, into the cemetery, and the sheriff runs after her, uh, and then she asks to be buried. So that was she, really heartbreaking. So she buries him. Yeah. Yep. Buries her. So that kills her, right? That, like, yeah, yeah I counted arrest. it. Yeah. Okay, so I counted that her, I counted that death. Okay, okay. You want those voodoo zombie deaths? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and then uh, I liked this. Uh, he's laying there after burying her and, uh, and crying, and all the townspeople come and uh say good say their goodbyes to janet <laughs> yep now all of a sudden they yeah. don't want to kill anybody it's uh, it's yeah. just such a twist i know they're like oh like, let's stop all of their motivations completely change i guess at this point we i guess we did not learn that yet but yeah tony you and your pins dude yeah tony i'm not even clicking Jeez this time and you're messing up I'm, you, you have to spend hours editing that yeah. out Actually, it's gonna be in now. Actually, I feel like Ashlyn's only been clicking on the on the topic podcast. She only does it for you anymore. Whoopsies. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you guys. So yeah, uh, the the town's folk all folk all come and pay their respects. Uh, and I like this too because uh, he's just like he's on the ground and everybody's like like coming and and uh, to Janet's grave and and he keeps like each person that comes up. He's like, oh, like the doctor, you're a one yeah, of them saying too? their names. Like, yeah, not like, you oh, too. Like, <laughs> yeah. Everybody's involved with me. <laughs> yeah, the grocery store bagger, you're one. Oh my god. Which this <laughs> is the scene I actually realized yeah. Robert England was in the movie. Oh, you didn't know the whole time. No, because he's like Henry, and I'm like, you look like Robert England. No, that's not him. And then I went back oh, through yeah. and I was looking <laughs> at the cast after the movie. I was like, holy shit, he was in this movie before Freddy. Too. So I was trying to figure out where, like, who what, who was Henry and like what was his role in town? Was he just another town's guy? Like, I don't know. Did he work it, somewhere? You're or? talking about uh, Freddy, yeah, Freddy. Krueger, right? Yeah. yeah. He, uh, I don't know. I don't know if it ever said. Okay, I was yeah. just curious. Like, because I wanted to place him throughout the movie other than just the end scene. Because it would show him, but it'd show him, like, uh, not at work, but at, like, uh, the diner when the... He's in the scene, like... Oh, he's in the diner scene with the... the yeah. When the, the family, family comes in looking okay. for directions and shit like that. Like, okay. he's in the background doing his thing. Nice. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that all happens. Uh, meanwhile, Dobbs is inside. He got shot, and uh, he's inside turning not himself in, Dobbs. into a zombie. Which, he, apparently, he doesn't have to cut his heart out. Uh-oh. I know. I, he don't, they they I gave don't. up on that plot. They're like, <laughs> shit, how's he going to do it? Shit. Shove some electrodes in his belly. He'll be if, good. If they notice, we've already lost him. I yep. mean, we're almost to a movie end. No, nobody can kill. Nobody's going to give a shit. No one made it this far. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, when the sheriff gets back in there, uh, Dobbs tells him to watch the very last frame of the film that Janet uh, had him develop earlier in the movie, which somehow never got played when he was giving that long not, speech. Did, nope, uh-uh. did not once. Never. never, it never popped up. Yep. Turns out, uh, the sheriff, uh, he is the one getting stabbed, getting fucked Ooh. and stabbed in the video. He's been a zombie this whole movie. Which I loved that twist. Ooh. I loved it. Dun dun dun. I loved it. Actually, I could. I called it. I I, I was hoping. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping yeah. they were going to go that direction, yeah. but it's another thing to see it. It was great. And see. maybe at the time, I mean, nineteen eighty one. If you watched it back then, like you hadn't right. seen that. You know, maybe you hadn't seen that twist being done a lot. Been yeah. to death by now. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. So literally. I bet, yeah, I bet it was uh, pretty cool back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
So uh, that was Dead and Buried from 1981. But wait, there's more. We're going to hear from our podcast family, thepfpn.com, and be right back with trivia, kill count, ratings, and more right after this. You're listening to the Prescribed Films Podcast Network, home to hundreds of hours of free podcast entertainment. The shows on this network all have a common goal, providing you with the best discussions about movies and other forms of entertainment media. The PFPN hopes to fill your ear holes with audio joy. Visit our website with links to all the other amazing shows at www.thepfpn.com. Thanks for listening. Thanks to the PFPN.com. You guys are awesome. awesome. Dead and buried and then zombified. I'm zombified. How about Jason would make a cute zombie? I, I bet he would. Let's make him a zombie. We, we know a how. Cute human. Yeah. 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 We know how to make him a zombie now. Let's do this. Let's do it. We watched Dead Buried. We know how to make zombies. Yeah, we know. Yeah. yeah. That's a be old guinea like, pig. You just say voodoo and it happens. Yeah, voodoo. voodoo. Zombie. Ah. Uh, I wonder how many zombies we just made. Abe, do you have any trivia on this? I do. I Actually, got there one. Was quite can a I, bit. Can I spoil Ooh. one? Yeah, do it. Oh, shit. They were banned in the UK in the 80s. In the video nasties, right? Yep. Yeah. Really? That's all I got. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, I did that, not. That didn't pop up on my IMDb. Oh, man. Unless I skipped over it by mistake. I did not go. Yeah. I went. I, this dark, is one of the I, went, I went dark web research. Nice. <laughs> dark web. Dark web rules. Yeah, this was banned. It's yeah. crazy. Huh. It does. I mean. Which isn't even that gruesome. Yeah, I know. By today's standards. I mean, yeah. it's got some cool gore scenes in it, but hmm, interesting. Yeah. Um, this I've was. I've seen way worse. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I've not seen anything. Yeah. Tony's. Uh, Pure, pure at heart. It was the first movie I ever watched, guys. Yeah, last week. Uh, this was Jack Albertson's final theatrical film. Uh, in he poor was health uh, and suffering from cancer all through the filming, Albertson passed away a few months after this movie's release. Who that? Yeah. Grandpa Joe? Yep, Grandpa Joe. Uh, Let them peace. He nonetheless peace. lived long enough to see it at its premiere in Hollywood. Actually, it nice. was, actually what killed him. Like, what the <laughs> fuck did I do? Damn. <laughs> Um, San, or Stan Winston's special effects went beyond creating gore for the film. The figure in the full body cast lying in George Lamone's hospital bed yeah. was a mechanical dummy built by Winston. Okay. The lifelike detail and elaborate movements of the dummy was rigged to make the make rigged to make gives the appearance that it's a real person and makes the infamous needles eye stab all uh-huh. the more startling. He was a real boy. <laughs> Which oh, they real boy. also filmed that Ooh. in reverse. Oh, like they did in Pulp Fiction. Okay. Yeah. What they, oh, okay. With the, yeah, with the, the needle. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Fun fact. Movies. Movies fact. Movies. <laughs> I, thought, I, I mean, until I'm old. I've never watched a movie before this. <laughs> and now I am just going to go about how cool. Actually, we'll do this fact real quick. Uh, due to child labor laws, filmmakers could not get permission to use the little boy who played Jamie at night because oh. the kids see, but because his scenes all took place at night they built a huge tent and around Shot a haunted a house in order to make it look like nighttime wow wow that is freaking crazy huh um and good, then good for them uh, also Pretty now good. i'm just going to brag about how awesome this director like he took his his role yeah. uh so we had like you know the scene where he uh, first talks to Freddy, the uh, yes at the the gas station. They actually built a camera rig through the car because Ooh. they wanted a certain the way look a certain way. So it went from outside the car to inside to yeah. Freddy all in one shot. Um, they he was also. Innovative. Huh? I said he was in it. Right, there. absolutely. And actually, I noticed it too because, uh, I mean, a lot of times, especially with a movie like this, they would probably, you know, like a like a director would probably just shoot it like uh, like like coverage and, you know. Yeah, in chunks just, and then cut it together. Yeah, and yeah. Then cut it together. But he was always like, like a lot of the camera movements in this like went into each other. Like there was actual thought they, put into it, you could tell. The cinematography on this yeah. was excellent. Yeah. Um, they also did, I didn't notice this shot, but I want to kind of go back and see it. Um, 
did I screenshot it? Uh, so it was when um, the the wife she's first introduced and she comes home and there's a, a single shot that goes from like the front porch to inside the house yeah. and then to like it's one single shot continuously but they did it in such a way where it was like the most elaborate shot of the whole movie and I don't have. I wish I could find this real quick. One second. <laughs> Cut this out, future Brett. Nah, nope. he not. Nah. I mean, <laughs> nah. <laughs> if I'm yeah. not going to cut it, you have to talk, Tony. Okay, so <clears throat> Kill Count, it's coming up. That's what you got to look forward to. I to say for trivia, count. Kill Count, ratings. ratings, and more, but there's never more. <laughs> well, uh, uh, picking up the movie. Actually, Tony has pointed this out before, but I stick by what I'm saying because <laughs> we do have one more. We have uh, now. We, now we do. We uh, have been picking the movie. Yeah. At the end. Yep. So at the mall. That's uh, the all right. And more. All right. That that is <laughs> at the mall. More. I hate that he's white. Yeah. Technically. So I don't have the exact scene, but here's an example of another great scene. Um. The the uh the tour the hitchhiker girl right yeah when they're redoing her they that was obviously a dummy that they were doing the makeup and all that shit too right. But then they have a like it goes time lapse from that, and then it goes up to the doctor for a second, yeah. and then it comes back down, and it's the actual girl. Yeah. They actually did like a cool swap sees. They shot that seventeen different times to get the timing just right, which it looked really Ooh, good. We've it been did. there. We've been, but it did. yeah, we've been. <laughs> yeah, and then also uh, it's hard to get things to line so up. So hard. Yeah. Um. Oh my God! So hard. <laughs> One of the cool things I also liked was the uh, the director actually purposely avoided using the color red oh. at all, th- okay. as much as possible throughout the movie. So far, that he even changed the tail light, the color of the tail lights, yeah, so hmm. that the gore would be more that enhanced. much more impactful. Okay. Oh. when you actually finally see the red, it's just like that makes boom. Sense. So did, Which, uh, I fucking love that. Fact. Except the girl in the beginning wore red shirt and her toenails were red. Yeah, yeah. but you but know I what? Think... You couldn't tell because of her tits. But uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, they weren't paying attention to her clothes. <clears throat> but that, I, that's probably just a like a uh, literal red herring then. Yeah, probably. Ooh. That she's bad right from the get go. Yep. Yep. No. But also, uh, I mean, M. Night Shyamalan did the same thing basically with uh, the color red in the the Sixth Sense. Yeah. Or, or, well, in his movies, just to like draw attention to the things that he wants you to, you know, on a rewatch. The Village. See, that one I picked up on obviously because it's the main plot point. But I don't remember that. I have to rewatch The Sixth Sense. Yeah, he does it in The Sixth Sense too. Yeah. Huh. And we think he he can't go through his red. Oh. Huh. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. I'll have to go back and revisit that one. Mm-hmm. Um, Kill Count? Okay, Abe, we're going to have to talk about this. Okay. Uh-oh. What did you get? I got uh, Human Wise, which okay. is all we count this year, <laughs> is uh, one, two, three, four, five. I got six. Six. Okay, I got six, two, but uh, I was going to... <laughs> no, I didn't know if you were going to include... The image, uh, the videos on the screen. Um, I did oh. not surely because it's a replay of all the deaths that happened throughout the movie. Okay, was it okay? Yeah, because it, it had the. I did not even know that because I was like watching. I like okay, right. I should. Tell no, you. it was it was the guy who got burnt. It was the fisherman. Okay. It was the hitchhiker girl, and then it was that would uh, make sense why I got twelve. Yep. Uh, um, both of those. Yeah. Okay. Oh, two, okay. Six and six. Okay. I should check in before. I, I really wanted to count the uh, the family, but they we never yeah. actually saw. Okay. Them. So yep. So yep. So. I ended up with six, but I should cool. double check in to see if we will count those. Just shows the little boy later in the classroom. What? The little boy. He was in the classroom. Mm-hmm. He's in I the got classroom. that too, and she talked so that to counts. him about the witches. That one counts then. If he was later in the movie, then it's implied that he died okay, so and seven. turned we'll into We'll go seven. A, okay. We'll go seven. We so go. now we'll have I don't, to... I don't remember ever seeing the dad or the mom, but yeah. the little boy definitely For sure. Was. Yeah. Okay. It's it seven. Was, yeah. So now we're up to 127. Because he's in the scene where she's explaining everything to the class. Oh, she's, really? I didn't the notice exposition that. Dump and scene. she like leans next to him and she's yeah. talking. Yeah. She even yeah. talks to oh. him. He's like... Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that that's enough to tell us that he is no longer a human. Yep. He is now a voodoo zombie. Okay. He's a voodoo zombie. So he counts seven. How many voodoo zombies were there that died? One. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the, 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 the lady at the end. Janet. Yeah. <laughs> who got buried. And even then, we're not sure that put her at peace and she's dead. Yeah. Okay. But so She what, could still be alive down there as a zombie. She's just laying down there. Bury me. <laughs> okay. Bury me. So ratings? Uh, ratings. Uh, hey, you first. Um, 
I'm going to give this movie a four. Ooh, actually. nice. Uh, the, I like the concept of it. Um, I, Despite not liking the fact that they're calling them zombies, I like turning the... I like redefining things that we thought we knew yeah. kind of thing. And I guess it's an old definition that kind of got buried and just revi- revisiting that. But I like... Uh, yeah, I like seeing a different twist and like a f- like Fido where they have yeah. pet yeah. zombies and shit. Yeah. I love I love just sex seeing... sex doll zombies. Yeah. <laughs> I just love seeing the the zombie thing or anything really and yeah. a different perspective on the same topic. I like it. So I give this one a 4. Four it is. Tom dog. What are you thinking? I I'm, uh, I'm conflicted on this one. No. Oh. Uh because Grandpa Tell Joe was me why? <laughs> Ain't nothing but a hope. But yeah, Tell me why. <laughs> but no, I I love Grandpa Joe. I think this should have been his movie, but it's a zombie uh, movie, and I hate. And it was like kind of drawn even, out. Even voodoo zombies, you hate? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna give this. Uh, I'm gonna give this a two point five. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Ashland. Three and a half. Ooh, bullet train, perfect movie. Shut up. Damn. A three and a two and a whoa. An average. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, I liked it. I thought it was fun. Yeah. Uh, I thought so, too. I'm uh, giving it a four, guys. I thought it was nice. actually made uh, for its time and for how low the budget probably was, which was, what, three? Three. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it good, had good elements Yeah. yeah. yeah to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I had already seen it. I didn't realize it on the last yeah. episode. Oh my god! Yeah, you it, did. But yeah, I realized it later on when I was uh, <sighs> googling it, and I saw that it was. Like yeah, you new message. Re- I was like, oh, do you watch this? Yeah, I've already seen it, guys. I didn't realize it was this movie. <laughs> Dude, it's uh, it's hard to keep track of movies we've seen I at know. this point. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> so hard. annoying. Yeah. Whoops. Now I'm throwing pins. Oh my god. <laughs> No more, no, no, um, new wall, no more pens. So I'm excited, guys. Next week's movie. Now we're to the and more. And more. And more. So I wanted to pick a movie, yeah. guys, that we have never talked about. Okay. And Which it kind of fits with your uh, theme. I guess we've talked about movies in theaters before. Never mind. Guys, yeah. we're going to go back to Fast 10. Oh, we are doing fast. We're doing fast 10. 10. I got you. <laughs> I got you fucked good. Awesome. I knew it. it. <laughs> you called it, Abe. Yes. Yes. We're yes. going fast 10. Of course we're going fast 10. Hell you, yeah. Ashlyn thought uh, that it was going to be Renfield. I did. Or I the thought, Meg. Uh, what did I say? Listen. Uh, oh, I forget what I said. Oh, bro. I'm so excited oh, for fast 10, bro. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Of course uh, I was going to go fast. Tony, you have to rewatch it. This is going to this is like yeah. the Fast and Furious episode. We have to get I'm ready gonna... <laughs> for <laughs> oh, it. I'm so excited. So, I already started my homework. Awesome. Yeah, Ashton and I've time. already started. We're our almost homework. done yeah. with our homework. Yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to do Fast 10. Hell, cool. yes. Nice. That is yeah. so exciting. I know. I'm like, "Ah, oh, man, I was playing off. Yeah, I know when he came in. It just left the old. <laughs> it was a wet herring. <laughs> you know what? That actually times out just about right because the anniversary of when we were on Attack of the Killer podcast just happened recently. Yeah. Okay. And that was the last time I rewatched all these movies. Oh. Because I mentioned it on there. Me and Katie watch uh, rewatch all the movies every time. Yeah. Every so couple years when the new, new one comes, comes out. out. Nice. <laughs> this again be a really big episode. And I own them all between like like the first four I think is on DVD and then it's Blu-ray after that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um I want to call it right now. Yeah. Uh, when we watch this in theaters, everybody pay attention because not only are we doing a kill count, we're going to do a family count. I am putting I'm a family to count. Say family. Yes. Family. I need to I'm going to see this like two or three times before that podcast. Let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope you do. Tony. All right. <clears throat> On your tone, your tone yes. flicks. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little disappointed. Me too. I thought you would have had Ghost Dad's more movies. No, actually, that's just for movie.com. They don't take everything from iTunes. Oh. Uh, it's just like different. We were I was wondering because uh, it stops at Fast 6. Yeah. And, it? Oh. yeah. yeah. and we were you like, don't have the whole Tony, collection? you don't have like, the whole no collection? Way. No, no, because I don't know exactly what it takes from iTunes. Uh, gotcha. So I'll have to look into that, but yeah. Makes sense because I was like, this isn't our Tony. What is happening? So you're missing three on there? Am I missing three? Oh, no, yeah. it, he has, uh, oh, three movies. Three movies? Yeah. I thought you missed the third seven, one. Eight, okay. nine. No, yeah. because I didn't look into it because I just saw they had Fast and Furious on yeah. there. So gotcha. I'll have to look. Gotcha. But yeah, no, uh, they only do like, a div- not every company is on there. That but I think it'll, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, my yeah. iTunes one, <laughs> you should see. Well, then I rescind my 
judgment. Just okay. I still don't. <laughs> Brad doesn't, but that's yeah. fine. I think there's a lot of excuses flying around right now. And that's it for us, folks. Thanks for hitting that play button. Do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next week. See you next time. Stretchies. For what's the topic next week? Next topic is AI. AI. Oh, we're doing Alan that. Iverson. Oh, we're doing the Steven Spielberg film. Steven Spielberg movie. Yep. yep. Fun Fe- fact. Starring Alan Iverson. Yep. At the little boy. You guys, and my Robert, outfit is looking Robert so English. fucking good. Just saying. Yeah. I'm really proud of this shirt, and I love it.